God, it feels like a hot minute since I've actually been able to get the camera and sit down and hang out with you guys. So it's been a very, very busy week. So we've had Valentine's Day, which was absolutely manic. And it's not just like making all the bouquets, it's the logistics and planning and getting things out, making sure they're correct. And the anxiety that we have made everybody's bouquet. But now that's all done, I've actually got some time to come and chill with you guys. So today is a more chilled day as it's Friday. Now we do have our everyday bouquets, but I don't have to come back and do funeral flowers as it's Friday and we don't often have funerals on a Saturday, so I don't have to prepare for them. So we today are going to be making the bouquets and then we're going to be planning for Mother's Day because I was just thinking any free time that I have, I'm going to concentrate on that because it's coming into wedding season and I'm getting so many messages, calls and face-to-face -face consultations that I just won't have time to make a proper collection for Mother's Day. So let's get this day started. made all the bouquets now and I'm just going to pop for deliveries but I wanted to show you this one that's so cute. I'm actually in love with this one. Oh, how cute is it? I just love the colours. It took absolutely ages to get the colours right but it is literally like I am obsessed. Right guys, I've just got back from deliveries. Um, they were quite local, so it didn't take that much time, which is good. So I've got more time to do the Mother's Day collection now. So I'm gonna get my mum and I'm going to take some photos of her with some of the bouquets from the Mother's Day collection. And these are them all complete and I love every single one. I like to be educated. So that was just me and Mum doing the first of the Mother's Day collection. We only did three because that's all the time that I've got to do so far, but we will be doing more. I like to get about six in the collection so that there's lots of variety for people to pick from because we do do the gold foliage and natural foliage and women and mums all have different tastes so we're going to try and acquire to everybody's tastes and Otis wanted to come on the video today so he says hello right let's carry on so guys it's actually only midday now I thought it was uh later than that but i've managed to get everything done super duper quick this morning which is good so then in the afternoons i just do like to sit down and go through my journal so each day i basically put things on there that i need to do during the day otherwise my head gets scrambled like i cannot organize i like to just concentrate on getting the orders done and then there's obviously the admin part as well. So getting back to clients and 
funeral work, wedding work, inquiries, DMs and so on and so forth. So that is actually the thing that stresses me out the most. So I do write it all down here and then I'm just going to tick off everything that I've done. I've got myself nice and comfy for this guy so I can literally brace all the admin that I need to do right now. But it is literally so tiring and it takes up so much brain space, as you'll know as a small business owner or wanting to start your own business. This is a side that we have to do. Um, so I'm actually still really exhausted from Valentine's Day. Um, I didn't give myself time to rest really because Valentine's Day was on Tuesday and then Wednesday I just had another whole admin day. That, that is literally all I did was sit down and reply to emails and messages all day. <laughs> and my head was literally scrambled and I find that that's more tiring than actually doing physical work. It's like my brain just gets so scrambled but it's so worth it at the end to know right, everything is done. So anyway, I'm gonna get on with doing this and I just wanted to tell you that if you are feeling tired and you feel like you're having a mental block, please do listen to your body and get as much rest as you can because you don't realize how much this can actually impact your work. You wanna be on top level energies at all time and passionate about what you do. So just please listen to your body when it's telling you that you need to rest, rest, rest. Uh, so that's why I'm nice and comfy on my laptop going to do my emails now. the most annoying things about being in a creative industry is the mess at the end of the day. Now this is, mess is actually good for me, the floor is normally covered. So I have to take time out of my day to come and make sure the studio is nice and clean for the next day. Otherwise it just sends my mind into chaos. <laughs> Floristry studio goes. I think this is pretty good. Ready for me to come with a fresh mind in the morning for the new day. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found it really interesting. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next 